Hi guys. I'm back. Um, as you can see, same fig shirt, um, new hair. I don't even want to lie to you guys. You, you know this is a wig. But if you want to buy this, um, I'll put the link down below for you. So I know this long video is overdue. I'm just going to get straight to the point. No long intro because I be skipping those too. We're going to talk about all about my new job. Talk about the environment. We're going to talk about the pay. We're going to talk about the coworkers, um, the trips. Yes, that's right. I said trips. Um, if you want to know all of this and more, then stay tuned. First, I'm going to give a brief summary of the circumstances which landed me into having to get a new dental assisting job. So for those who just clicked on my video or who don't know what's going on, basically, um, long story short, I was let go by a series of unfortunate events actually was not a series of fortunate events it was actually a series of fortunate events it's because i got landed here let's talk about the doctor so this doctor is very different from the last doctor i was with the last doctor i was with he loved loved to talk um, we would talk all during treatment and it was a really great time we would always be laughing together um, sometimes, however, I would feel very drained. I'm more of an introvert. He talking drains me. I loved talking to him, but at the same time, I just felt like all my energy would be gone by the time I would get home. I believe that God has put me in a happy little place with this doctor because this doctor doesn't really talk too much. He talks just the right amount, honestly. So during treatment, you know, it's not just talking the whole time you know, where I'm concentrating on my work, he's concentrating on his work. And you know, we're concentrating on the, on the patient and I like it like that. Don't get me wrong though, like a lot of the times we do like, you know, share about our week or ask about our plans. Hi, how are you? Or just talk in general, but it's not the whole time. It's not for every single treatment. But I think me and him vibe really well. And the good thing is, is that this doctor has five children. He's very family motivated. His children are still young. He is a type of doctor who wants to get home at the end of the day and I respect that. We always make sure to end the day at three. A little bit more about this doctor is he's part of this great consulting group that is able to teach us and you know mentor us, mentor the business as a whole and consequentially we are able to work less, make more money and it's just so awesome. He is very laid back. He's very chill, yeah, which I really appreciate. So he doesn't micromanage. Um, the doctor is really great. So let's talk about the schedule. So I was always envious of my husband's schedule. Um, he would work from seven to three and I was like, wow, those were the hours I wanted to work. Now guess what guys? I work seven to three, seven to three. And we have a 30 minute lunch in there, four days a week. And guys, the time off that we have is unbelievable. I've never had this amount of time off, period. We just got a one week off in May. We're having two weeks off in July, two weeks and a half off in December. We have a week off in October. Oh, we had a week off in March. Oh, we have a week off in November, did I say that? And then we have like several, sometimes we won't come in Mondays. We have a couple Mondays off too, sprinkled around. Um, but yeah, guys, we have a lot of days off. I can't tell you how refreshing that is. And most of the time it's just spent at home or hanging out with family or doing activities. Like I'm finally able to join my worship group. Now let's talk about the environment. Um, environment, very, very pleasant. Guys, I love my coworkers. I could say that from the bottom of my heart. I love, love them. Hello? I love you. Everyone helps each other and we all have like this great understanding like no clicks we don't want any clicks we want everybody to be able to talk to everybody despite maybe some being older than others like it does not make a difference because we just all love talking to each other we all love being with each other and I think that that has a lot to do with the fact that we're just love our jobs and we love what we do. Um, we had a lot of team building activities, so we are able to have a close connection with each other. Not too long ago, I think it was February, that we went to this, um, this meeting and everyone had to take turns saying 
basically our true feelings about each other. For example, Melanie, I really love your um, uh, exciting or outgoing personality and you just brighten up the day. Yes, this is a quote, okay? But I really don't like how you leave cabinet doors open or I really don't like how sometimes um, you're doing your schedule while you could be doing sterilization. And then it really allowed us to just be like, oh, I didn't realize that that was bothering you or I didn't realize that I was even doing that. I didn't know I left the cabinet doors open. Like, And I can improve, we can all improve, we can all be better. And we all just took turns, you know, saying things like that about everybody. And I think that it was so beneficial for us. The environment consists of three hygienists, two front desk ladies, and then two assistants, me and my coworker and then one doctor. Since there is only one doctor, we have one busy column. We have two columns for each, like one for each assistant. There's one busy column and then there's one column, also busy, but like less longer treatments. For example, in one column we could have like blocks for crowns and then the others will just have crown seats or limited exams and all that. So the good thing about um, us is that we like we don't really stay in one busy column all the time. For example, I could be busy column in the morning and then chill column in the afternoon and vice versa, you know? So we share the work. We're not just all one person doing everything at once. So that's really great. But like if someone has like a gap, you know, we always make sure to check if someone needs to help, someone needs help bringing their patient back and maybe we can get their blood pressure x-rays done. You know, we see if anybody needs help cleaning their room, setting up their trays. Hey, let's talk about the pay. So the good thing is, is that we are all on salary. So that's also part of our consulting group, our mentoring group, is that they have everybody on a fixed salary. So even though we're taking two weeks off, one week off, you know, there's never a point in time where we're where we are not getting paid. So even though we're gone, we still make the same amount of money and that's just so reassuring. And then also we have bonuses and our bonuses range and they are good bonuses, guys. I'm not talking about $100, $200 extra a month, no. I'm talking about thousands. So I make, uh, what is it, 39.4K, 39 point something K and yeah so that's my salary that's just what i always get regardless of whatever's going on so of course the bonus is very month to month but guys we always get bonus um i think that the smallest bonus that we that i've ever gotten in my year of being there the smallest bonus that we've ever gotten i think was 600 i want to say 600 um and that i think only happened once um but we average a bonus of about a thousand, a thousand, I'm gonna say average a thousand each bonus, uh, but mainly we get about a thousand six hundred. Yeah, mainly we get about a thousand six hundred each month of supplemental income. Basically, for the whole year, I make about, I'm just gonna put like a thousand each month, so like 39k, we'll just do 40k plus 12, so that's what? 52? So yeah, I make about 52K each year. Let's talk about the perks. A big, 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 big perk is the trips. We get to go on trips, all expense paid trips, and it is amazing. But we actually just got back from Las Vegas. We stayed at this nice hotel, guys. So we stayed at um, like, yeah, this like resort spa, and our rooms had a balcony on them. He even paid for us to go to we all went to go see a Beatles show at Cirque du Soleil, so that was really nice. We got to eat at these great restaurants, you know, lunch and dinner. To be fair, these trips are not just go out and have fun trips. They are like um, part of our consulting group. We were in a class for like the first part of the day and then after that we would just get to explore and have fun and stuff like that. Um, yeah, there's like one big trip like out of state and then there's like smaller trips within the same state different towns then he's so generous that even like not only do we get a christmas bonus but we also get to go out as a team and do 
fun things. For example, this Christmas that just passed, not only did he give us a Christmas bonus, besides our regular bonus that we get, yeah, he took us all out to a spa day, and after the spa, we did a nice dinner together, and it was just a great time. But yeah, so um, I hope that you enjoyed this little rundown. If you have been asking questions or you know, wanting me to reply, the best way to do it is to leave comments on my most recent video almost immediately just because it's easier for me to respond to comments when in most recent videos because there's a lot of comments that I have not gotten to from previous videos and there's a lot of them. So it's a little hard for me. So I say if you really want to contact me, leave a comment. And yeah, and don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that notification bell. My next video, since I talked about how much I make dental assistant, I'm gonna talk about how much YouTube pays me. So stay tuned for that video. Um, okay, bye. Boop.